Ooh, what I eat. In a day at home and on the go. What you got you got fresh? Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell from the title of this video, I will be sharing with you guys an updated version of what I eat in a day. But I'm going to be putting a little twist on this video and combining what I eat whilst I'm at home and what I eat when I'm on the go. So many of you guys asked me to create more videos of what I eat in a day and also like videos where it's like showing you guys like what to do for like pack lunches and like back to school meals. So I thought I may as well combine these two together. So if you know me and you are regular on my channel, you'd know how much I talk about how important it is to be prepared. And I cannot express how much value it just brought my entire life. And it just helps you stay on track with like healthy eating, an active lifestyle, a busy lifestyle. It's just so convenient and you're so much more likely to be eating healthy when everything is on hand. So usually I would just stick with having like prep meals within my fridge. I have my prep sweet potato, I have my prep chicken, but lately I have been vibing prepped actual meals. Purely because I've been so, so busy and it's just so easy and so convenient to be able to like quickly come home, get ready, grab my meal and go. It's just so like, it just prevents so much stress. Rather than coming up with like all these like fancy creative meals for you guys, I literally just wanted to be super raw, super basic and show you exactly what I eat in a day and my favorite meals at this present moment. Because that is the point of these videos I'm meant to be showing you guys what I actually eat in a day not just recipes I've created for the purpose of this video I keep my diet super basic super simple and with the foods that really work for me I keep it high protein I am all about like balance majority of my diet is healthy but whenever I want chocolate whenever I feel like a treat whenever I want a wine I will have it I definitely do not deprive myself whatsoever and I do not restrict myself from any food groups I have everything apart from gluten because gluten does not work well with your girl no 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 no. Gluten make your girl stinky. I do not restrict anything. I do not restrict any food groups. I do not label myself or anything like that. I just eat foods that make me feel good. I've been in the stages where I have followed like, you know, the diet trends. I have gone paleo. I've counted my macros. I've limited so many food groups and I've gone vegan. Even though vegan, it's a way of life. It's not an actual diet, but I have eaten a plant-based diet and that didn't work for me. I'll actually pop up a video up here why I quit a vegan diet. But for me right now, I have no limitations. I am just eating healthy, eating foods that make me feel good, keeping my diet super simple for my gut. My gut is something that I definitely do prioritize when it comes to my diet and my health. So with all these foods, they are just stuff that really works for my digestion, my gut, and my lifestyle. But anyway, enough to chat, let's carry on with the video. <laughs> So like you would have seen at the start of the video, my first breakfast is going to be the quinoa porridge. So when I have time, lately I've been loving making these quinoa porridge, especially within the colder times because it is currently winter here in Sydney and Australia. It is cold. It's mother licking cold. And we ain't used to this. We all complaining. Nothing warms my soul like a good quinoa porridge. And the reason why I have quinoa is purely because I try to reduce the amount of gluten that I have, like I said. And oats don't really sit well with my stomach at all and I find that quinoa just works so much better with my digestion and I feel so much more lighter after quinoa porridge compared to oats. But if I'm not making a quinoa porridge at home, I will be making eggs on toast, omelettes, salmon and rice, turkey and rice. Like I'm really, really weird. Like I just keep my meals super basic. This quinoa porridge is probably like the fanciest I go, especially within the mornings, because mornings I find are my most busiest and I do like to keep my diet quite Simple, but quinoa porridge I have been loving. With your toppings, you can choose whatever. A handful of berry, cocoa nibs, coconut, tahini. Tahini on quinoa porridge is da bomb diggity. So on the go, breakfasts for me are usually eaten in the car. So I like things that I can just easily like grab with my hands. So toast and eggs and avocado, so simple, I know. But this is just me being realistic. I don't actually put anything on the toast. If I'm at home, I will actually use ghee. So it's a substitute for butter. It's better for the gut and it's just more natural. But when I'm on the go, I literally just will eat the bread as is. Like it's yum. The bread that I have is like paleo. Um, seeded bread. Any gluten free bread will do but I just generally really like the taste of this bread. So I actually always have boiled eggs on hand within my fridge so what I do is I just boil them and then I leave them like in a just like a glass container. We'll leave them in the fridge. Highly recommend doing so because it is such an easy healthy snack to just grab on the go or just add into like salads or meal like I am for my breakfast. Like I said super convenient and rather than reaching for like a processed muesli bar or chocolate you're going to be having some boiled eggs. Yeah, protein, the coffee. So coffee is always the same. The only thing that actually changes is the cup that I'm having in, whether it's going to be a mug at home or my on-the-go keeper cup. 
So lunch at home lately, I have been loving my chicken fritters. I already have a recipe to these up on my blog, so I will leave that in the description below. But I find these are so comforting, but they're still so clean, high in protein, and they're just so delicious. And you can have them with anything. You can have them with sweet potato, you can have them in salads. Like they're literally chicken, but just like a different form of chicken. Chicken fritters. One of my fave meals for on the go, like takeaway lunches or dinners, is my baked lemon herb chicken, rice and broccoli. Yes, simple again. But simplicity is just what works for me. So I never used to like chicken, but as soon as I figured out how to properly cook it, honestly, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And when I am having this meal, I'll add like a little bit of olive oil, some lemon, some salt, super simple, keeping it wholesome, keeping them like natural like dressings and ingredients. And that honestly, because the chicken is cooked to perfection, it is such a tasty meal. So snack. You girl's a big snacker. So if I was going to give you my snack list within this video, we would be here all day. So I'm just going to share with you guys my favorite little snack that I've created as of recently, and it's just like a little nut mix. So I love creating my own little nut mix because you can like reduce the amount of sugar that's in it, and you can add all your favorite ingredients. So I bloody love roasted almonds. They're literally like my favorite thing. So I'm gonna add roasted almonds, toasted coconut, goji berries, walnuts, and cocoa nibs to give it that little bit more of a chocolatey crunch. So I'll just pop all them ingredients in the jar and I'll shake it up to combine and then I'll have that with like fruit, raw treats, basically whatever I have on hand to be honest because I am a treat fanatic and I always have raw treats at home so I'll just have whatever is in the fridge. Most of my raw treat recipes are actually on my blog, in my ebook or recipes on IGTV or on my Instagram. I try to make sure that I'm giving you guys as much recipes on my content as possible. With these protein balls I don't actually have a recipe anywhere, it's just super simple. They're just made out of dates, coconut, chocolate protein, cashews, and pink salt. Blend that all up, and there you go. On the go snacks for me, um, something that is more convenient is my bars, my gooey bars that I have. So these are like chalk sea salt flavored. So natural, the ingredients are literally like dates, like sea salt, like just so, so natural. Like it, the food is just the food. There's no artificial sweeteners, nothing. I buy these bars online. I can actually leave their link in the description below. It's just like the gooey's website. They have a, a few flavors that I haven't tried yet, but like I'm in love with the chalk sea salt. So I'm like not venturing out anytime soon. <laughs> With on-the-go dinners for me, I do prefer like things to be canned because then it keeps it fresher for longer. So canned tuna, canned salmon, I really do love this brand. And then with a Greek salad that I've just made at home, so I do like to replicate Greek salads because you can add like whatever you want in it. Like you can add like nicer things in it. So within this Greek salad, I've also added like a little bit of walnuts and stuff and yeah. And zucchini noodles, like obviously these aren't zoodles because I don't actually have a zoodle maker. I just like make the noodles with like a... You know what I mean. Greater. Shaver. With my dinners at home, I usually just have the same thing. Don't forget wine. Always have wine. I have wine maybe like four, five times a week. That is just a part of my balance. I, yeah, it's my guilty pleasure. I personally love this organic preservative free one. I have so many bottles of this at home. This is the brand that I use, love it. And I won't actually have any other organic wine because organic wines taste like bum hole, unless it's this one. So with my dinners, I'll just usually have veg, some form of protein and carbs, whether it's going to be raw, Rice, sweet potato chips or my mashed sweet potato. I love my mashed sweet potato. I have that nearly every night. But tonight I felt like sweet potato fries. Before I bake the sweet potato chips, I will actually steam them because I find they turn out so much more crispier like that. You can boil them over the stove, but I'm like hashtag like lazy when it comes to cooking sometimes. And we're just microwaving today. 
I'll bake the chips with herbs, salt and pepper. Usually I'll actually spray, like I have a spray oil that I use. It's like an avocado oil spray because I love a spray oil when it comes to making, like when, when I bake my veggies, I find they crisp them really well, but I actually left my oil at my friend's house because we had a barbecue. I know, I was pretty pissed about that. So for me, my lifestyle and my work, I'm rarely never like not at home around dinner and like dessert time. So I guess you couldn't like use this dessert on the go. You could just like pack in a little lunchbox. Like I'm all about BYO like treats and snacks. So like why not? So lately I have just been having like my chalk bounty balls for dessert. I do have the recipe on my Instagram. They are amazing. These are probably like my favorite treats so far. And I'll just have them with like some bliss balls. And something that I really, really been loving is like chalk blueberries. So I make these myself. Because when I was making the chalk bounty balls, I actually had like all this leftover chocolate sauce. And I was like, what can I do with this? Either A, I was gonna just like literally drink the chocolate there and then or B cover some fruit in the chocolate and I only had berries because I don't really have too much I don't eat too much fruit I do love berries though so I had like a punnet of berries so I just like literally like just like pulled the berries in the chocolate sauce and then I left them in the freezer and oh my god it's like these frozen berries coated in like frozen like chocolate it's like <gasps> so nice so I'll have the bounty ball I'll have the berries I'll have yeah I'll have a lot of chocolate at night it just makes me feel satisfied and it's what works for me. Anyway chickens, I hope you did enjoy this video. I did want to let you guys know that currently my website is having a 40% off flash sale. That is including my ebook, my presets, my gut reset challenge, the whole lot. So if you are interested, head over to my website. I will leave the link in the description below. Just use the code flash sale and you'll get 40% off. Hurry because it ends soon. If you did like this video and you are supporting my channel, make sure you do give this one a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you do subscribe. Follow me on my socials. I will see you in my next video.